New at noon, Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zapala is updating us on the shooting death of fallen Brackenridge Police Chief Justin McIntyre. Chris Hoffman joins us live from downtown Pittsburgh. Chris. Christine, what we were walked through today was pretty much the evidence that the district attorney's office would have used against Aaron Swan Jr. if he had not been killed in this uh, situation with police once it got to Pittsburgh. Now, we went through a, a lot of information, went through the criminal history of Swan Jr., kind of even hinting at from the DA's office that he potentially shouldn't have even been on the streets at this point, thus leaving potentially Chief Justin McIntyre alive. Now, we went through pretty much the events of January 1st, where he was uh, kind of out in a car and speeding. Police weren't able to get him over. And then to the events of January 2nd, where he did get into the shootouts with police multiple times, killing Chief Justin McIntyre, injuring a Trenum officer, and then the chase that led police into the Homewood neighborhood of Pittsburgh, where again, it was another shootout between him and police. We have body camera uh, footage, photos, and even uh, audio from all these different scenes. There was really a lot to process in the almost uh, hour, hour 15 press conference from District Attorney Sapala. But in there, he did make a few points to say we really need to address these guns on the street and the hands they're falling into. We're big on giving people a second chance, and I'm all for that. When you come in and commit another crime, uh, you should be sticking around a little bit, especially if that crime involves violence or the use of a weapon. Yeah, that was District uh, Attorney Stephen Sapala talking about kind of the, the court system, saying they have a role to play in this, too. He did kind of express some frustration, saying some people are just, it's a revolving door. They're going into court, they're coming out of court, and ending up on the streets, not really uh, solving the problem of some of this violence. In all, the district attorney said that Swan Jr. had six guns, none of which that belonged to him that were used in this situation. We're going to have a lot more coming up a little bit later on KDK, both on air and online, showing you some of this evidence that was presented to us this morning. Live in downtown, Chris Hoffman, KDK News. Chris, thank you. We'll look for that later.